In this new episode on Girl TV, we're uncovering Hollywood's spiritual side for Easter. From red carpet glamour to personal reflections. Join us as we explore celebrities who have experienced and believe in Jesus firsthand. Starting with the one who looked in the face of the enemy herself, Woe Vicky. Victoria Rose Waldrop rose to fame in 2017 after a comical video claiming she was black. If I say I'm black, then I'm black. I see, see not Ancestry.com. Y'all did it. Yeah, my hair might be blonde and straight. Y'all ain't never heard of a perm or a straightener. Although it sparked much controversy, viewers stayed tapped in on her journey in celeb life until the moment she gave her life to Christ. But Wo Vicky would really find out who her true supporters were when she was faced with a serpent-like podcaster trying to get her to denounce the truth of the Bible. I can't, I don't judge. I can't, I'm not the one that's going to say, yeah, come up here or go down there. I'm not God. So you believe in having hell outside? I told you I believe everything that's in the Bible. Wo Vicky isn't the only influencer slash celeb that shocked viewers with a dramatic change in life. Black China, now spoken by her real name, Angela Renee White, rose to fame in 2010 as a stunt double for Nicki Minaj. With a public life of drama from baby daddy to blowouts with her mother and court battles, she quickly realized she needed a new life in Christ, saying, Honestly, I just got tired of being sick and tired. I just honestly wasn't living my life right, and I was just attracting all this negativity. I wanted to honestly dig deep and really see like, what's my purpose? Like, why am I even here? Why am I here on earth? And just really find myself. Angela White was baptized on her birthday and as for her plans. Uh, I'm gonna continue my journey with the Bible for sure. And just work on myself, just honestly work on myself and work on my businesses and different ways of making income because the way that I was making income wasn't right. Mm -hmm. So now I have to like really just dive, deep, dive, dive deep into my studies and to my work ethic. Well, the new <laughs> Angela fits you perfectly. Thank you, Thank you and have a blessed Easter. They are the plans of the Lord. Although the former Black China seemed to be around much trouble, she was far from faith. Her video twin, Nicki Minaj, which is also one of her closest friends, was a believer. Nicki Minaj, who attends life in its poetic form Christian ministries, has been highly criticized for her faith and the type of music she makes. But the super bass star once said, Empty, nothing there, no money in the bank, no money in my pocketbook. It was like, they're right. I need to go back home to my mother. I need to go get a nine to five. I need to just be a regular person and forget this music thing. What pulled you through? I think just like faith in God. Even now, I'll speak to like my pastor and be like, can you just pray with me? Because I need some sort of guidance right now. My mother kept me in church when I was younger. So I never really strayed far from that in terms of like my belief and my faith and my drive. It must have been the fear of God that kept her going. Take away my fear when they in the fear of God. Do you fear God? Cause I fear God. These two celebs have been mocked as witches and demon worshippers, but denounce every bit of it. Kat Von D grew up in the ministries as her father was a minister. She slid away from the church as a young adult, but she said she never not believed in God. However, her stray did cause her to stumble on a few things she needed to get rid of to better her relationship with Christ. I posted this post on Instagram where I just took a picture of um, a good chunk of these books that I took from my library. I have a library of like three to 500 books. And so this was a very small, like a small amount of books out of that collection that I just wanted to get rid of. Like it, it I don't want to say that they were haunting me, but it's like, I already knew they were there. I have my son who's growing up and is becoming curious. And it's like, um, you know, there were some art books I threw away too that weren't in that picture that were like, I don't know if I want my kid to look at that, you know, yeah. like, um, and, but to me, it was like, I came to this really awesome realization that, the, that night that I, that I, um, decided to post that was that like, I don't want these crutches in my life anymore, mm. you know? And that's what I really saw them as is like, okay, like, um, I just want Jesus. And it's a very narrow, a narrow road. Rihanna, on the other hand, never claimed to have stepped away, but many listeners did not catch her joke when she said this. Hey Angie, <laughs> I cannot believe it's been so long that we I have know. done this. You know, I am misunderstood a lot uh, at times. Um, my, 
music, my image, people have their whole, uh, their whole thing about me, whether it be a, me being a devil worshiper or whatever, it's them reading into my hand over my eye on my album cover. <laughs> Why is your hand over your eye? Because <laughs> I'm a devil worshiper, what are you talking about? And of She later cleared the rumor again. I believe God put us all here for a reason and we all have our purpose and we're here to fulfill our purpose um, individually. I think the thing that's kept me sane, the thing that's kept me humble, the thing that's kept me successful is being myself. God, <laughs> I love you too. These next lessons are constant reminders of Jesus Christ and walking in God's purpose without self-perfection but with faith. After some not so good choices in relationships, Sierra decided to turn her love life over to God. I'll tell you a few things that I did pray. Um, you know, I prayed for a God-fearing man. Megan Good did the same with her career after being concerned about her transition from child star to adult star. By the time I was 19 and I was like in that weird phase, transitioning from child to actor, child actor to adult actor, um, a lot of people don't come through that transition. It's a really, really hard one. Um, and that was the first time that I asked God, I was like, I've never asked you if this is what you have for me. I don't even know if I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. And so I took a beat and I was like, Lord, is this what you have for me? Because I want what you have for me more than what I think I want for myself. And I need to know, you know, and that's when I got the confirmation that, yes, this is what he has for me, but that's not really about me. It's really about using what he's given me to build his kingdom. Now, if we're talking about being surrounded by faith, Destiny's Child did it proactively. From their parents' prayers. I am a result of my grandmother's prayers. And my mother prays for me all the time. And I pray for my daughter all the time. And God is real. To their seriousness with their own prayers, let Team Beyonce tell it. My advice is to keep God first. That's the main thing, keep God first. We go to church every Sunday together, and I think that's what gives this group the bond that we have. Please keep God first and pray every night, and be serious with your prayers. Also, stay humble. Rather than rapping about Jesus like Snoop Dogg, like nine years old, I used to go to church all the time and my mother used to catch the Holy Ghost and people used to always laugh and make fun and be like, your mama finna fall out again and, you know, because we didn't understand yeah. what catching yeah. the Holy Ghost was back got then. It. Got so, it. one particular Sunday, I caught the Holy Ghost, like not falling out and all that, yeah, but, but I felt some kind but of... You knew something man, happened. I felt some kind of way and I was something like... Something happened. Yeah, like, yeah. I need to be doing more right than wrong. Wow. Building faith through their music like Mariah. <laughs> The song itself is just kind of a hopeful message about people going through tough times and having faith and believing that they can get through them and um, that's all you really need to do. So that's not something that I haven't written about before, but at this, with this particular song, it kind of has, you know, a certain realness to it. These celebs have understood and experienced the importance of Christ. God's voice in silence, so it comes from prayer or just sitting and being still sometimes and and yeah wait so when you said angels were you talking about the only human being that has ever walked the face of this earth that has been better that has been good is jesus Curious about spicy things going on? Get your life with girlversion.net, the source for trending news. Stay in tune with the latest hot topics and breaking events around the world. Log on to girlversion.net, your best source for trending news. Follow us on all social media platforms at girlversion.